All right, we're starting off the morning at the ranch. If you remember from a couple videos ago, this is where we just put in solar power. So instead of the water pump that gives the cows water being run off the windmill, which still works, but we just decided to change it to being solar powered. So now we've got a concrete truck up here and we're gonna be pouring a nice pad around the water tank. Pop Kurt is a concrete oh. expert. So while I am just learning, he was in, uh, no, expert. He's in building construction and also in the CBs in Vietnam. So this is this is his time to shine, really. A little more, take a big scoop there, Ethan. Big scoop, get it in there. Big scoop. All right. Cows are curious about what's going on. All right, everybody, what do you think? I was on shovel duty most of the time. I think it looks pretty nice, though. Okay, so this is by far the most concrete I've ever poured in my life. And Pop Kurt said this is a good time to practice my skills because just cows are going to be walking over this and not many people are going to see it. So I'm practicing my skills with a mag float. It's really fun to be learning all these skills from my grandpa and my dad. Plus, what a fun job. Look at how satisfying that is. I'm not very good at it yet, but I'm practicing. Okay, so we put this fence up to protect our new concrete here. Um, the cows have been pretty curious checking things out. Uh, this is not their only water source. There's a pond, and then also up at the catch pen, there's another big water tank for them to drink out of but not too shabby, huh? Look at that edge I did. Pretty proud of that. I would uh, not call myself a concrete expert, but that is by far the most concrete I've poured my entire life. I'm gonna watch my words here. I didn't hate it. Would I want that to be my full-time job? Eh, probably not, but huh, was it terrible? I've said it once, I've said it twice. I'll probably say it a million times until the day I die. Farming, one of the reasons why farming is so great is because you're never just a farmer. You get to be a truck driver and an equipment operator and a concrete pourer and a delivery girl and I don't know. You get to fill a whole bunch of different jobs all in one. Okay, we're good. Uh, heat advisory today, folks. It's going to be very hot, so remember to drink your water. Um, I'm at a pivot that I haven't started at all yet this year. Dad's been starting this one. Um, the panel looks a little bit different. It doesn't have like a computer screen or anything in it. Um, this is the well motor that last year a mouse ran out at me. It was a very traumatizing experience, um, but I'm going to get this started. We're running one inch on this bean field. All right, got her going. I allowed myself about 15 seconds to be frustrated. And then I hooked it up to my pickup, gave it that little extra juice that it needed. And now we're running, uh, it looks like 470 volts and we're running at 15%. And that should be slow enough to get an inch on. Okay, everyone, don't mind the pivot that has just walked up into the yard. Look at the blade that's right there. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, that, I, wish I could describe to you the joy that that right there just brought to my heart. I'm just thinking about when uh, I went up for a ride in that plane and I mean like just watching him go over my field right now makes me want to cry. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, holy cow. I, that's just really, really super cool. If that doesn't impress you, I don't know what does. Oh my gosh. All right, everybody. I uh, 
drove out to this field on the four-wheeler expecting to see a pivot murder scene. Luckily, there's no pivot here. Now, this is good news because I was expecting it to be maybe flipped over or sunk in a hole, but it's not here, which means it's still running. So I'm gonna go check on it and see where it's at. All right, so the pivot isn't stuck but the end gun has been running on the road. So definitely need to take care of that. I kind of want to get wet. I'll be honest, it's really hot. Let's see if we can hit this. Woo <laughs> okay. All right, that was a lot more than I thought. Okay, so I shut the end gun off and because it made it through that muddy spot, we were running it a little faster to try and, you know, hit it with some speed. And so I slowed it down. So instead of putting half inch on, we're putting on an inch and a quarter. Here's a whole field that got shredded because of all the storm damage. It's a serious shame. Okay, so everyone is very familiar with this well motor here. This is the location where I filmed the first intro to me video. Um, anyway, so this is beans this year and I've started this pivot with you guys many times before So I got everything all started set ready to run. I fired it up and I started smelling something kind of sweet and uh, This thing does not smell very sweet and then all of a sudden I see smoke and This thing was smoking and burning up. I do not know why um, It's the cable that comes out of the box that like controls the pivot so I shut it off immediately, obviously, and we're just going to let dad come out here and check this one out because I am unsure of why that happened. You think I would have learned by now that I need to carry a towel around with me because that seat is so hot and obviously wearing shorts. It's going to be a toasty ride home. Okay, so just the other day, we had a big grinder come in and grind a whole bunch of stover bales and grass bales. And look what we have here. So dad must be chopping right now. I'm usually in the tractor pulling the silage wagon, but look at this. Oh, it smells so good, green and fresh. This silage, it's going to be mixed in with all our stover and grass bales that we just got ground up the other day to make a delicious feed over the winter for our cows. There's a spray plant again. Oh, guess what? We are back in the tractor. We all know that I am a sucker for a good day in the tractor. So I just grabbed a pin off one of our silage wagons we only have two. Um, okay, I just caught me falling on my face in film. On film, okay. Whew, let me gather myself. Um, anyways, I'm going to go get a silage wagon, start hauling because dad is going to start chopping. Okay, entering the field, dad has chopped a nice little path for me here in the Milo. And there is the trailer that I need to get to, back there. Okay, so I ended up turning around because I don't have very much space. So I'm just going to back all the way up to the trailer. It's not that far, and this means I don't have to run over any corn or milo. Also, never turn down a chance to improve your backing up skills. Okay, that was perfectly executed, I'd like to say. Um, now, so I slid this out so that the tongue would reach. So I'm going to back up to lock that into place right there. And then we can be on our way. And there's dad with the chopper. Do you not have air ride seats in the chopper? No, not in, not in this one. All right. I also don't have independent link suspension ILS in the front. All right, so I'm gonna let dad get going here. Start chopping away, such a cool operation. We do not do very much chopping. Um, so dad enjoys every little bit that he gets to do. There's just something fun about destruction, like whether it's destroying the males or chopping, 
I don't know, it's just a fun operation. And I've got our wagon full and we'll head back to the farm to dump this. Okay, safely made it back to the farm. Trailer intact, I kind of forgot. Um, I'm definitely supposed to hook up this hydraulic. So I'm gonna do that and then get back in the tractor and dump this thing. I made sure that I was on the concrete. So then the person who is running the loader tractor, whoever that may be, maybe Pop Kurt, can push it all up into a nice pile. Okay, so I kind of already started to dump, but I'm just raising up my number two hydraulic here and that door opened in the back automatically. And now I'm just going to start pulling forward and leave a nice big pile there. Okay, made a nice little pile and now I come back just to make sure that this is actually clipped in. There we go. Locked in so that when dad's chopping, he doesn't have silage just coming out the back. And now, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so we did a little unhook on the go. We got the 5830 here. Dad was kind enough did to dad unhook me. You? I already checked it. I remember from last year. To check that it was latched all the way? Yes. And it was? Yes. Huh, nailed it. Okay, YouTube, because I love you, I will be honest with you, okay? So I just want you to know that I am just being fully transparent on here. That wagon that I'm unhooking and passing off for dad to hook onto, um, it's half full. I didn't get it dumped all the way. So dad unhooked me so that he can hook up and he was like, did you check the, the trailer? I'm like, well, yeah, I got it latched all the way through. I remember, don't worry. And he was like, but did you check the trailer? Where's my pin girl? Oh, one second. Coming. Okay, I'm back. There we go. Okay, like I was saying, trailer's half full, which means that, yes, I checked the trailer, but not really. So let this be a lesson to everyone. Um, uh, make sure you know what you're talking about before you assure your employer that you check the trailer. Um, total rookie move. I just didn't empty it all the way. I even went the, like, like I slammed it back and forth. Nothing. Oops, there's my mistake of the day. Hopefully that's the only one that happens. And here he comes. He's cut a nice little turnaround for me so I don't have to try and like back up out of the field or anything. Welcome to another episode of Chopped. <laughs> he said welcome to another episode of Chopped. I love that show. Here's the chopper in action though. Looking like a beast. Oh, oh, hey, whoa, hey, easy, stop, stop. <laughs> oh my goodness, you've heard of like water fights? Yeah, over here at Carlson Farms, over here at Laura Farms, we have silage fights. Sometimes I forget that you have to press in the button to talk on the radio and dad will say something to me and I'll just respond like we're having a normal conversation. And then he doesn't respond and I realize it's because he never, heard what I said but he chopped away out of the field for me now he's letting me by and I'm going to try not to hit him here as I zoom by at a whopping four miles an hour everybody wave to dad okay now let's check the trailer aha oh my goodness I've been slamming it back and forth for five minutes now Keep at it, I guess. Okay, I think I got it. So Papa Kurt is pushing our pile. I'm actually empty this time. Slam that shut. Go back for another. And back to the farm we go. I really don't mind this job. I love being in the tractor. And as you can tell by how red my face is from just hopping out there and hooking this up, it's very hot outside, so being able to be in the air conditioning, mm, so nice. And uh, there's my fourth load dumped. Just going extremely well. Dad's chopping a little bit faster than I'm going, 
So I've been having to move pretty quickly, but overall, super great. So I'm looking around and I think green is my life's theme color. Like it's the color of my eyes. It's the color of corn. It's the color of John Deere. I just think that's my life theme color. I like it a lot. I'm okay with that. And last load haul. I think we only did, I think we did eight loads, which isn't bad considering I did not think we were going to be hauling silage today. So yeah, park this across the road and call it a day, maybe? Okay, there we go. And then it'll rain on Saturday and we can enjoy other things. The county fair is this weekend, so I am hoping for rain because that would mean no work. Um, also coming up, this is crazy. Um, I'm leaving for New York very, very soon, which means that the Empire Farm Days, which are August 3rd, 4th, and 5th, is also coming up very, very quickly. So if you want a meet and greet opportunity, now is your time. I will be at Empire Farm Days, New York Farm Girls, Farmer Grace, whatever. Um, I will have like a booth, like a legit Laura Farms booth. It's gonna be very professional looking, shaking hands, there's gonna be merch that's like super clearanced there. Um, and the show itself is just gonna be really awesome. There's a ton of great vendors there. I've heard there's great food too. Um, so now's your chance to, I don't know, if you wanna drive, take a train, a bus, a plane, please come see me at Empire Farm Days in um, upstate New York. I would love to see you there. Wow. Okay. This was a huge day. Poured concrete, uh, checked on pivots, hauled silage. I love days like this. I feel super busy and productive and then I can go home and we are in the last week of school, everybody. You heard me right. Last week of school. So I have a lot of homework to do this week and then I will be done done. And I would just like to thank you guys for being along on the whole ride for me. Farming, schooling, family. You guys have been there the whole time. So I love you guys and we'll see you next video. Bye.